Hello, everyone. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Today, I'm quite excited about the project that I'm going to teach you about. This project is inspired by Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse was born in 1869, and he lived to be 85 years old. He was quite a painter. He was a French painter, in fact. And during his painting career, he, he liked to use bright and happy colors, expressive colors. You can see how bright all these colors are. This piece of art was quite bright as well. But when, when he was in his 60s, he became quite ill. He was able to recover. However, because of the illness, he became bedridden and wheelchair bound. So he wasn't able to paint his glorious paintings anymore. But he did continue to produce art. And his art was the art of collage. He called it painting with scissors. And these are a few of the examples of the work he's, he did when he was wheelchair bound. Bright, bright colors, very expressive again. Look at all that movement. Love those bright colors. He liked to use organic shapes. A, a lot of organic shapes was in all of his artwork. And look at, look at this. This is quite organic. So, we're going to start our lesson. Now, the tools you will need will be different colors of bright paper, a scissors, a pencil, white glue in the bottle, or you can use a glue stick as well. Those are only the materials you will need. All right. So, those organic shapes I was telling you about, Ah, oh, I cut a few out. You can see what I did here. I just took my scissors and went round and round and round and round. So I am going to show you a few little tricks on how to accomplish that. All right. You can use your pencil. And I am just going to make some organic shapes. Any kind of organic shape you want to use is perfect. Look at that. So easy to do. So, and let's say you wanted more organic shape, maybe some longer ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper in half. I'm going to take my scissors. And again, I'm just going to go back and forth all the way around. But I'm folding it in half. Do you know why? Because by doing that, I am going to get two of the exact shapes so I can use them in my artwork. All right. Look at that. Nice, right? These are those organic shapes, just like Matisse used. He also liked to use stars with lots of edges. And that's fairly easy to use as well. I'm just going to start. Here are some of the pieces that I've cut out. This is that star shape with all the pointy edges. I even cut out a shape that looks like a person. I cut out some greens that are shaped like that. All right. So the first piece I started working on yesterday, I haven't quite finished it yet, but I started placing all the pieces down on my paper. And once I had placed all my pieces down, I kept adding pieces where there were blank spaces. So I am going to go ahead and start on a new piece of paper. It's actually a piece of cardboard that I covered in black paper. Cardboard. 
So please make all of your shapes any kind of shape you want. Everything will work. I mean, look at all of these shapes, like I said, wow. That's a lot. Look at those bright colors. Have fun, and we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, everyone. So what I have done is chosen the colors that I want to use. Um, I'm not gonna glue anything down yet. I am just gonna piece, place my pieces that I like on my black board and move pieces around until I have my desired effect. All right, let's see here. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead. Once you have placed all of your pieces down and you like the way they look, you can start gluing. All right, I'm gonna start gluing and you do the same, please. When it comes to these colors, if you're going to use a yellow color on the top, try to use that same yellow somewhere on the bottom as well as on the side so your eyes will flow. And I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get to that part. Because you want your eyes to go from all the way around your artwork. Let's see. Okay, I've got my blue there, I've got my purple. Ah, I'm gonna put a little bit of white to go with my large white shape. So your eye will go from one end of the painting to the side, and you will see those colors throughout this piece. All right, I like the white. It really pops out, especially when it comes to this black paper and these bright, bright colors. So, Anyway, I am going to show you exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to the colors that I have glued down on my board. All right, um, the yellow. I like the yellow because it's nice and bright. And I also place the yellow here and the yellow there. So when you look at the top, your eye follows the yellow. The purple. Purple, following purple, following purple. Blue, 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 blue. White, 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 white. Your eye follows that shape. It's quite lively, quite beautiful and bright. Have fun creating today. Thank you.